Welcome, Hordlings, to another Game Hoarder production. I'm proud to present to you more awesomeness for Ronstock October 2023. This is Days Gone, an open world sandboxy type game where you can run around, do different questicles, side quest, craft, buff up your motorcycle. It's kind of like Sons of Anarchy meets The Walking Dead. And it's an awesome game. It's one of the few PlayStation games that I have platinum trophied. And I am very proud to present it to you here for Ron's October 2023. And it's an epically long adventure, so we will spread this one out over the entirety of Ron's October. Which you never know. It may go into November. It's done it before. I'm going to cut out these long load times, so we'll be back soon. Must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How are you doing, mm. little sister? It's so stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. The goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why do you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you. Two. <laughs> come on, help me. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that gun. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Can't we have... Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming? Welcome, folks, to Days Gone. Oh, yeah. Two years later.
lost him. He can't be far. Wait, hold on. Cut your engine. <coughs> Shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez. What happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it... Was it Rippers? Fucking Leon. Come on. So yeah, what are the one of the cool things about this game is you are able to start modifying and upgrading your motorcycle. Oh, shit! It's got ammo! No shit! He can't have much! Better tires, better engines. A ton of weapons to find. They really did a great job with the game. The controls are super tight on the, uh, the bikes as well. Also track with survival vision. How's he going? There isn't shit out of here, but a bunch of Let's see where objects, enemies, footprints Maybe I was are. Wrong about him having to deal with Copeland. No, Leon's been fencing shit to Copeland for a long time. Finally caught up with him. Hey, hey, wait. Hey, wait. Hold up, hold up. Shit. All right, let me see. Wait, 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 here. Down this way. Tracks are fresh. So where the hell did you learn to track shit anyway? Used to go elk hunting with my old man when I was a kid. Ended up tracking shit for miles. Son of a bitch can't aim worth a damn. Son of a bitch. I'm fine, Boozer.
must be heading down there, toward the falls. He's losing a lot of blood. He's not getting far. Come on. There'll be a lot of undead down there. Search him. Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you'd know all about that. She was right still now. breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste the bullet, not on her. Oh, hold on for a second, hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, uh, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood from all the way down there. What do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Eating alive? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait. All right, all right. No, no, no. I got it right here. Take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said! Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it! You goddamn liar! Do it. It's gonna need something for the bounty. You did the right thing, bro. We don't want to leave anyone to the freaks. Not even a piece of shit like Leon. All right, let's return to the bikes. We're gonna be focusing mainly on the primary questicle in this game and the side quest. I'm not gonna to try to. 100 percent it or anything. Hey, hold up. I want to search this camp, see if I can't find something to fix up this scratch. But we'll be... semi-thorough. Could make something out of this. Going hunting tonight. Take some bounties, send it Tucker. A lot of it's pissing down rain. Nah, man, we need the camp credits. Gotta stock up on supplies. Yeah, okay. I don't want to be out all night, though. Jesus, I gotta get in shape. See if there's anything we can salvage on Leon's bike. No. God damn it. What? Son of a bitch. Guessing that's a fuel line, unless you just piss yourself. It's a fuel pump. Leon. Yeah, shout out my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything off Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. <sighs> Look, let's just go back to O'Leary Mountain. We'll head out in the morning, find some parts, and come back and get your bike. No, I think I got a better idea. Why don't we just get it while we're out here? What? Well... Uh, Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's is as good a place as any. Yeah, okay. Hey, 
What did Leon give you? Map of some kind. Once we get my bike back, let's head up to the cemetery, look around. Yeah. Okay. So, tomorrow, we get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect on Leon's bounty. Then I say we head north. You think shit's any different up north? Don't matter, I think you'd do us good. Get the hell away from here. Hold on, something's blocking the road. Careful. I saw a setup like this a couple days ago. A bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. Come on, help me move it. I smell a fucking ambush. And it ain't the good kind of bushy bush. Push! Oh, what the fuck? I got you. Jim, kill him. Got this. Are you about to get shank tank, baby? It's got to teach us inventory really quick. I, sh I hit the uh, inventory button. Okay, get me out of here. I'm slitting throats, bitch. Shank, 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 Come on. We're almost there. Fucking with the shank tank. Welcome to the day's gone. Gotcha. Coming up on the old Nero checkpoint. We're almost there. Shit, how you want to do this? Blow me your shotgun. I'll walk point. Looks like that checkpoint had him backed up pretty good. Yeah, a lot of good it did him. I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn pioneers. Yeah. Shit. Look at them all. A bunch of goddamn dumbasses, the lot of them. What are they thinking? Hey, Mr. Fed, can we sit here and wait till the goddamn horde comes through and just kills us all? Bad way to go out, trapped in a shithole like this. All right. Work through these tunnels. Oh, Jesus. There. Come on, let's go. Wait, hold up. How many Molotovs you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. <laughs> Sounds like you got your wish. Shotgun. Yeah. Okay. You're going up there again. What are you talking about? Goddamn refugee camp. You only act like this when you're thinking about going up there. Act like what? It's not your fault that she's dead. Drop it. 
If you'd gotten on that chopper with Sarah, all that would have changed is you'd be dead too. Oh, just drop it. Some vehicles, vehicles have alarms. And they, of course, are noisy and will draw the attention of the freaks. Okay, here we go. You'll get different kind of crafting ingredients from searching car trunks. Usually you'll get scrap from the hoods. You'll get ammunition from police cars. And you'll get random crafting materials from normal cars. And you can't search all cars. You're not getting cars. your bike through there. Try that service tunnel. See if you can clear us a path from the other side. I got it. Just keep your headlight pointed that way. Have a little flashlight we can use here by pressing down on the directional pad. Jesus! More bounties. Now we're starting to get experience so that we can gain levels and gain skills. Is also another very cool aspect of this game. Oh, good. Look at a cute little piggy man. When you're in the uh, wheel selection screen, it slows down time, as you can see, so it gives you ample time to switch between weapons, items. Grenades, projectiles, things like that, so. It can be very helpful when you're trying to decide what you want to do. They don't like light. Getting your flashlight out and shining it in their face gives you a bit of an advantage. Kind of slows them up. get into marking the enemy soon enough this whole first video is pretty much a another tutorial. nest oh. Oh. yeah I smell it oh. how many Molotovs you got left oh. you just used the last one you got any shit to make more yeah yeah this will just take a sec That'll do it. Ready? Shit. Here they come! Hey, 
Hey, come on. Get on. Yeah, okay. Give me a sec. All right, back on the I've been bike thinking about what you said about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. Clear your head, you know? In the morning, let's turn in the bounties, and we'll hit the road. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're talking. Wanted a freak show. Shit. Place is crawling. thinking and I already know it's a bad idea you just ride on through you pull as many of them off as you can and I just I go in through the back down that hill find the garage shit All right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need you ride back we ride the hell out after I kill a few of the bastards I swear to God you got a death wish like I said not tonight how you stinking son of bitches All right, we're here at our first little infestation zone. Start learning different parts of the game. Goddamn newts. Go on. Get out of here, you little shits. Good night. Newts are basically what happens to kids that get turned into freaks. They're pretty harmless, but if you get in their territory or get swarmed by them, they can be an issue. As you might have seen in an earlier scene, they also make for food for the other zombies. But it's definitely uh, a good idea to clear them out before you uh, get up in their territory. Shoot him right in the ass. Skittish can usually stick to out of reach places like rooftops. They'll attack if they sense you are low in health or invade their turret. Okay. The uh, zombies in this game are attracted to the scent of blood. You can see down there on the radar in the bottom right corner, we got a couple red diamonds with uh, hazardous symbols. Or whatever you want to call those and uh, those are our nest we want to make sure we burn all those out in any given area because we get good XP for doing so and we get rid of all of them we get some bonus XP but you have to have the Molotovs to do so you see that we have a beer bottle a thing of kerosene but we are missing a rag for a second one but for now, let's burn this motherfucker down.
So if you're crouching and you sneak up on the freaks quick enough, you can do stealth attacks like you just saw there. And you're going to want to use your R3 so you can kind of see where stuff is hidden a lot. So you'll see me spamming that. You're going to want to search all the cars that you can. Keep up on your... ammunition and crafting as you can see they are smart enough to crawl up here Notice on the radar that you got a couple uh, concentric circles there. You can see some red that's showing up to the east further away in the outer concentric circle. That is showing that we have enemies far to the east. If they get to that uh, center circle like they are now, we know someone is very close to us. We are in the immediate vicinity, so we probably have someone on the other side of this truck. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Nothing a little shank and lank won't handle. You can also hide in the bushes. This game has uh, got a pretty good stealth mechanic to it. A little uh, twist of Assassin Creed, if you will. Which I always appreciate. Being able to do stealth kills, especially in games where noises alert your enemy, is, uh, is definitely a good thing. When you're in these heavily uh, populated areas of freaks, it's just good to kind of always crouch and to get in the bushes. You can also use your binoculars to start marking enemies. It puts a red diamond above them. And then when you come out of binocular mode, it keeps them tagged for you. very helpful tool. You can also hide in different compartments like dumpsters. And you always want to make sure you explore these vacated buildings for crafting materials. Crafting is important, especially early game. You find better weapons. Weapons deteriorate as you use them to beat in freak faces. And you also start uh, being able to do some herb crafting in this. So you can just start picking up different flowers that you see. Different weeds.
We have a car with an alarm here, so you want to be careful not to bump it. Even if you go to disarm it, it's going to go off. Uh, when you have nests around, it's better to take care of the nest first. But as you can see, we need a rag to do so. Two birds with two stones. We got one more nest we want to take out here, but we're going to need to find yet again another raggy rag. Sometimes a trunk has a newt in it. It's not always something good. That's very easy to burn at night because fewer swarms will be hibernating inside. However, they may be roaming close close by, so be careful. I don't know. I'd rather kill shit in, during the day. So we've cleared Crazy Willies of all infestations. It gives us some bonus XP, some extra trust in the area, and of course helps uh, the storyline continue. I don't know that we will worry about killing every nest in the game as I did the first playthrough, but it is certainly something that you can aim to do if you ever play through this game. I'm just trying to show all the cinematics and storyline. Because we have several games that we are doing for Ron Stocktober, and this is definitely the longest of all of them. So you'll notice I picked up a password to the safe here that gives us a attractor, aka distractor, which we can use to bring all the boys to the yard. Different collectibles. So just to get into the inventory mode here, we have our inventory, story, map, and skills. Inventory is going to show us our gear, weapons, equipment, story items, our supplies, such as the attractor, our molotovs, our crafting materials, which you can see there's quite a few that we will be collecting. And then we also have our skills, which right now we're halfway to level 2, skill level 2, so we don't really have any points. But once we get points, we'll start being able to put stuff into melee. You see we have all these different melee skills. We have our ranged combat skills, which of course will be helpful for gun usage. And then we have our survival skills. We'll get, of course, more into that as we progress. We also have our map. Uh, which we can see here. 
kind of shows us the uh, different icons that we can go to. This is the storyline, which shows the different quest, the progress on the quest, collectibles. Um, <laughs> there's a shitload of collectibles if you're trying to go for the trophies. Here's all the trophies. I've, again, platinum this, so they're already checked off. So yeah, that is the inventory screen. Now let's get to Willy's. You can see the little yellow arrow on our mini-map kind of pointing the direction that we need to go in order to get to our main objective. But just remember that you don't want to fly by these other areas. You want to make sure you come in and explore them and get the, the crafting materials that are going to help you out. And it's always good to kill shit. It gives you XP. XP is good. And stealth kills give you How's it going, brother? more XP you than non-stealth. Not yet. Still gotta find a way in the Willy's garage. Gotta be a fuel pump inside. Well, hurry your ass up. I rode past one of those, uh... How, what the hell do you call them? The, the shit that Ripper's put up. Sigils. Yeah. It means they're up here somewhere. Suppressor. Silence your guns by attaching a suppressor. Select the compatible gun and the survival wheel. Press R1 to attach to it. So we can put a suppressor on our pistol. I guess it's a jury rigged version that we're getting from the uh, car part. Mortar doesn't know shit about cars, but I'll go along with it. Let's, let's call it the muffler. Got you, you little shit. Normally you're going to get scrap from the hood, under the hood of a car. But you can find various other parts like the suppressors. See, I already got it there, so it won't let you. you. You're limited, obviously, in inventory. You can only have so much of any one crafting material. Right, but we need to get on the roof here. Shit. Boarded up. I gotta find another way in. Maybe there's a way in through the roof. Sure. Of course there is. That's right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hear the little shit, but I don't see him. That means he's probably inside.
flashlight isn't very strong there looking. Alright, so we're inside. Let's find what we need to find and get the fuck out of Gotta here. Gotta be a fuel pump in here somewhere. To get it off that motorcycle there obviously i want to go ahead and grab other shit that i might be able to you can see if you're getting that red icon that means you are you're maxed out on that particular material what we can do is we got full bandages another collectible there Boozer, you there? I found the part. I'm heading out to the highway. Deep. Ah, rippers! Rippers! No, 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 no! Oh. Ah, shit! Rippers. Boozer. Booze man? God damn it. Hang on, booze man. I'm coming. <laughs> These tats are dead symbols of a dead man! Dead symbols of the lost! Get off me! Son of a bitches! Biker man! You must be brought low, Biker man. For you are lost, and we are found. Fuck you! We will show you. You are not one of the found! You are the lost! The pad. You are lost! Get low! Get low! Get low. Get low. Get low. All right, so you can take cover in this. Son of a bitch. You can shoulder swap. These tats are dead. Dead symbols of the lost. Get off me! Bitches! Biker man! You must be brought low, biker man. For you are lost. Hey! Over here! Sons of bitches! Get off of them! Asshole! Come on! Headshot. Boozer. Bitches, I'm gonna kill them all. Every Boozer. fucking one of them! Oh my god. Oh, shit. Uh, let me help you up. No, I got this. No, no, you don't. Oh, get up. Uh, fucking rippers. You gotta go. It's like uh, they were waiting for me or something. Fuck. Uh, I didn't see them and then, then they were on me. Whoa. Okay. No, don't look at it. My god, they are. I'm serious. Don't look at it. god. Don't look at it. Get on the bike. Oh, shit. Go, go! Fucking rip Once you wait out here, let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right, pretty much like we left it. What? Not like there's much to steal. Just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna go out, find some shit for your arm. You get my bike. You gonna be okay? 
Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that Nero checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey, I've got some ammo if you need it. In the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey, don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer. I... All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it. I can understand that after the getting blowtorched on the arm. So we got our gun locker here. This is our base of operations for now where we can swap out weapons. Not much we can do now because we don't have a whole lot of weapons. Nothing stored. We do have a crossbow here, but we're going to stick to our current armament. But we can always fill up on our ammo so that we leave with a full load. And the ladies know there's nothing better than a full load from a man. Damn it, Boozer, your arm's not going to be fine. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I gotta find something for his arm. Only so much we can craft. You kinda have to wait for the game to dictate when you can learn new crafting items. But it's still a good idea to grab what you can grab. Nice view. I'm not taking Boozer's bike. I gotta get to mine before it gets dark. What the hell? Boozer, are you awake? Yeah, Dick. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. Idea. I'm gonna follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. Deacon out. So you can see we have the sprint bar above our health bar in the bottom left. Once you run out there, well, you gotta let it recharge. <laughs> Teach us about the stealth marking. So what'd you find? It's just like I said, those drifters we saw riding on the same bike, they're holed up, just up the road. Yeah? No shit. Hell of a setup. Some kind of lookout tower, got a fence and everything. Ours for the ticket. Sounds pretty sweet. I say when it gets dark, we go in, kill the sons of bitches, and then make ourselves at home. Uh, you know they're gonna have guns. Look like one of them was pretty gimped up. We can take him. Yeah, fuck you guys. What's up? Time to play the Shankalang game. Take that. So 
So we can quick swap between our primary guns and our uh, special gun. See here we have our primary weapon, our secondary weapon, or our sidearm, and then we have our special weapon down here. I didn't actually take the crossbow. Some bitch get her throat slit. And we know there's three more marauders in the camp. More they animal. don't have the best eyesight. So as long as you're not blatantly out in front of them, you can kind of get away with the shank leg. Oh, he found me. Now I'm gonna beat the shit out of him with a pipe. What you running for? You like that? That's the last of them. Must have followed us here. Sons of bitches. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Boozer, I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before, it's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up and then worry about hitting the road. I'm gonna be heading to my bike, Deacon out. I also search the bodies for various items if they have the magnifying glass symbol. It's a lot more machete. That sounds like a fun weapon. I'll trade my stool leg out for that. You can see that the stool leg has 60% durability left. And you also have your damage option here versus durability. Damage goes way down, but durability goes up. I'm going to just try to avoid them as much as I can for now so we can get to our bike here because we're going to be wrapping this good oh, bit rain. up soon. If it's not the freaks, it's the goddamn rain. Why is it always raining? Where the hell am I? I gotta be getting close. I get to my bike. Getting closer. Fucking get fucked up by the machete gets out. <sighs> Gotta get close. Come on, baby. Where the fuck are you? This is it. This is where we left it. And it's not here, of course. My bike's gone. Hey, you're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man. I swear. I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! 
Hey! My bike! Oh, God damn it, all right now I'm gonna kill you. Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. Get your bike? Nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. Deacon out. You can't get them no matter what. St. John, is that you? Some son of a bitch stole my bike! I don't know nothing about that. You gotta go talk to man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Second, about to lose our battery here. Which would be bad, okay? So, this is going to be our big main base here where we're going to have our merchants. Be able to upgrade hey, our bike here at Manny's. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. Work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once. Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. How to focus your mind. Manny, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, oh, well, you don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bike. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. It didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, and let's talk. Looks like you had some trouble. Got hit hard last night. Rippers again. Twice now they've been up here. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Kitchen. Folks around here take care of their own. They go enough days without food. Well, you see how it is. The lake not holding out? You get a fair amount of trout. The lake's fed by snowmelt. No one left to stock with fish. It's gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. You used to go hunting out here with the old man. Build deer blinds out here. Put down salt licks below us. Pick them off clean. Some winners had so much venison we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal. Deer baiting back in the day. 
My old man had only one law, the United States Constitution. If he could only see us now. America, land of the free. We are that. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? <coughs> he was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Teak. Oh, Leon. Thug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike. That your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever die. Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Go, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Nope. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. All right, folks. We got another mission here. More story for the storylines. Found a foot to retrieve our bike. These are the different storylines here. Quite a bit going on. have our map which shows different areas that we can get to and that we've explored and of course in the bottom left area you have uh, different side missions that you can do checkpoints infestations that need to be cleared uh, and we have quite a bit that's undiscovered obviously at this point because it's so early in the game you can zoom in and out it's a great mini map actually they did a or a great mega map, I should say. Did an excellent job on it. Shows the, the collectibles, uh, the herbology for the regent, and we're going to learn a lot more of that. Uh, the game continues to teach you for the next several hours on all the full mechanics of the game. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for video number one here of Days Gone. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more.